If you face a serious diagnosis or a serious health issue and you or a loved one is going to have stays in the hospital, you know, I had surgery when I went through my health issue. My wife was in the hospital here and there when she went through chemotherapy. It's a tough thing, but there is a hidden danger out there. And I want to just ask, what are the top three killers of Americans, at least in a hospital setting? You might be very quick to say, well, I'm sure cancer is one of them, and it is. Uh, I'm sure heart disease is another, and it is. But the third might surprise and shock you. The third leading cause of death in hospitals, I'm not sure if I'm getting this exactly right, medical errors. So there are estimates that between 250,000 and 440,000 Americans die every year in the hospital as a result of unnecessary medical errors. Not a health issue, but a problem caused because the hospital screwed up. I, I respect doctors and nurses so much. This is not a criticism of them. This is a systemic issue. They are overwhelmed at times. There's so much paperwork. One hand doesn't always talk to the other. And errors happen. You know, this is not saying, screw you, doctors or nurses. No, I love doctors and nurses. I, you are the saviors of, of, of our society in many cases. So what can you do about medical errors in the hospital? Don't just think you go in the hospital and everything's covered. You need a patient advocate. I truly believe that can save your life. My mother, Myra gerson Gilfix, really opened my eyes to this. She's published articles about this. She has Myra's Healthcare Huddle on Gilfix.com. It's easy to find in our blog section. She has a lot of pieces about this. But what is a patient advocate? I, I alluded to this earlier. When you go through a diagnosis or a loved one goes through a diagnosis, serious medical issue, it is crucial that someone is there with them at every meeting whenever possible, that someone is with them as much as possible in the hospital. And what does it mean to be an advocate? You don't have to be an expert. I mean, hopefully if you're an expert, my mom was a, an extraordinary healthcare advocate for me. Take notes, you know, help if get someone to help you if you're the one facing the diagnosis, if you're helping a loved one out, take notes for them in meetings, keep copies of everything, ask questions of doctors. If you're the one going through it, as I can personally attest to, it's hard to think of all the questions. Your head is spinning. You're facing your own mortality. It is hard to get down in the details and ask for second opinions and third opinions. So it's someone who will push for you, who will make sure that multiple people in the hospital are checking on things, make sure that your medication isn't mixed up in the hospital, checking that testing is done properly. So it might be as simple as keeping track of what doctors say you should do and making sure it happens. If you're in the hospital, it can be as simple as making sure everybody who walks in washes their hands. Um, it can be as simple as making sure that the new nurse who's on shift now has the notes from the previous nurse, little things. And again, hospital staffs all mean well, they are working their butts off, but they get overwhelmed too when errors happen. So having that patient advocate is huge. And if my mom is available, and she is actually available for our current clients, members of our Peace of Mind program, she will speak to people at no charge. If you're a member of our, our Gilfix and the Pole Peace of Mind program, she'll talk to you about this if you face it. She'll give you tips on it. But most importantly, have someone there with you that can help prevent medical errors. Of course, if you want to contact us, it's easy to find us. You know, we can always review your estate plan. We can be that resource. If you or a loved one faces that diagnosis, we can find us easily at Gilfix and Gilfix.com, um, 650-493-8070. It's pretty easy to find us online. I hope you got a lot out of this and I hope everybody is staying safe, sane, and healthy. Let's stay in touch. Thank you so much for joining me here today.